Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. Today I want to talk about the on-one concept from Nobel BioCare, which centers around maintaining the biologic width by reducing damage to the mucosal barrier. This is achieved with the use of the on-one base, which is placed at the time of surgery and forms the platform for the restorative components. The system is designed so that once the on-one base is placed, it does not need to be removed, thus preserving the adherent epithelial and connective tissues. The on-one bases are compatible with the conical connection interfaces and are available for the narrow, regular, and wide platform implants. For each platform, there are two collar height options, which are 1.75 and 2.5 millimeters. Each on-one base comes packaged with a plastic handle, which is used to carry it to the mouth and guide it into place. Once the abutment is in position, the handle can be used to lightly tighten the screw, after which the handle can be removed and discarded. The screw is then torqued to 35 newton centimeters, which requires the use of the on one screwdriver. From this point on, the on one base stays in place and all of the prosthetic components are attached to it instead of being connected directly to the implant. Standard titanium healing caps are available for the on one, but additionally, you can use the iOS healing cap, which doubles as a scan body so you can take a digital impression without swapping out any parts. The healing abutments are hand tightened using the standard Unigrip screwdriver. When it's time to restore the case, you can take a traditional open or closed tray impression using an impression coping that seats onto the on one base, or you can scan the iOS healing cap if it was used. There are just three restorative components available for this system, a titanium temporary abutment, a stock titanium abutment, and a titanium universal abutment. The universal abutment is a titanium base and it's available in both engaging and non-engaging versions, which allows us to create single and splinted screw retained restorations. There are no angle correction options for the on one system, so it's important to take that into consideration during the treatment planning. If it is found that an angle correction is necessary, the on one base would need to be removed so that the case could be restored at implant level. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.